Hello everybody and welcome back to Art of the Heart. And as I have decided to dub Mondays for the rest of this month is Mer Mondays. Instead of giving a mermaid video every single day this month of mermaid or have it be all of my May videos, I decided to catch you guys up. Every Monday we'll talk about things mermaid related. I'll show you some of the art that I created. And then I have a couple of fun things planned for these videos. So the first thing I wanna do is to obviously show you all the art that I created during the week for mermaid. For those of you who don't know what mermaid is, it's an art challenge that every single day in the month of May, you draw something mermaid related. So I love doing this. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. And it's probably my favorite of all the art challenges. I like Inktober, but I love mermaids. So mermaids is like so much fun for me. If you want to see each day's picture, I highly recommend that you follow me over on Instagram. I post uh, sketches and finished products over there, or you can just tune in each Monday and I will show you hopefully some of the creation process. As you see, I didn't record everything on the coloring and drawing some I just record a drawing part some I record the coloring part some I just didn't get a chance to record at all but I'll show you them all at the end and that leads me into the thing number two recently I've been doing a challenge for myself which is the 100 character draw challenge where I draw five characters and let you guys vote on which character you like the most well putting on the challenges of mermaid and the project i'm currently working on which i'll talk about a little bit more later in this video along with some other big changes that are happening in my life i just felt i couldn't give proper attention to both the 100 character challenge and the mermaid challenge so i decided to put the 100 character challenge on holiday for this month and just focus on mermaid for that but i don't want to have you guys wait for like voting? So I'm gonna let you guys vote on which design of mermaid you like the best. At the end of this video, or close to the end of this video, there'll be a link to the poll where you can vote. And I don't know that I'm gonna put up every single piece because I have to choose five because the poll only allows me to have five options. So I will ch choose my five favorites. And then out of those five favorites, you guys get to pick your favorite and we'll just see which one wins the battle of the mermaids. It's gonna get brutal. Also in the comment section below, if you wanna leave me a theme or a prompt for a mermaid, um, it might spark inspiration and who knows, it might end up in the next round of mermaids. I'm not following an official prompt. There are definitely a bunch of those out there that you can just you know Google mermaid prompt ideas and they give you a whole list of 31 ideas. I'm just kind of creating as I go. So I would love to hear you guys' suggestions on those. I also had someone ask me if I was selling either prints or the originals of these mermaids. I am probably going to do something with all of the mermaid designs at the end, whether it's to put it into a zine. Um, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Thinking of the best option, I'm not quite sure. But I have decided that I'm going to post some of the originals for sale. So if you want to check them out, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. But the other big thing I want to talk about in Mermaid Mondays is the big project that I'm working on. So last year I did a story. So every day my illustration of Mermaid kind of illustrated a story of a mermaid named May who got to go to the surface for the first time and the things that she got to see, but in her excitement um, got herself into a little bit of trouble, which she needed some help. And there happened to be a young boy walking past and saw her in trouble and uh, he helped her out and yay she gave him a little pearl as a thank you gift and it was fun the, the interesting thing about the story is i did it with absolutely no text so they didn't actually talk in the story so i just tried to convey everything with with the illustrations and it was a fun challenge and i had a lot of people asking for more information about the characters or what happened next or something like that so i'm doing a comic of the story of May and Finn. So I'm going to show you some of the sketches that I have done for that um, in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and jump over. I want to show you the uh, six drawings that I've done so far. So um, this was day number one, which is kind of this pearl maid. And I use this really cool marker that I have that when you add water, it blooms out. It's super pretty. If you want to find out more information, I have a video where I talk about it. The second day, I did one of my favorite mermaids, just a headshot of Ariel, but I tried to change up the design just a little bit. Well, the style just a little bit. Day number three, I actually asked people over on Instagram, 
what colors they thought. And I loved this suggestion of teal hair and kind of a yellow fin. So that's what I went with. Day number four, I decided to go a little bit darker and try some things that I've never done before. So this is a warrior mermaid and she uses an ancient narwhal horn to defend herself. But I also have never done tattoos before. So I tried my hand at doing some fun tattooing and it looked pretty cool. And you guys saw in the video when I was coloring it, I had a really fun technique to get the scales on there. So if you didn't see that, you can go rewind and check that technique out. The fifth one I did, I decided to mash up a theme idea of sweets and a mermaid. So I made a cupcake mermaid. So it was fun to kind of put the little sparkles or sprinkles and frosting in her hair. And I like her design. It's just a slightly different style than my normal style. So that was cool. And then last night I was super tired, but I did this drawing, not over the top happy with it. I think that I could have added a lot more detail to it, but I was really tired. But the, the point is I got a mermaid done. So this is a moon mermaid. So anyway, here are the all the pieces that I've done, I have chosen my top five favorites from these and listed them in a poll, which you can find the little icon up at the top corner, a little eye, you can hit that and go vote. So now let's jump over and do a little sneak peek at the comic. These are some unfinished pages that I have, but it's actually the sketchbook, the little boy, his name is Finn. He, if you notice, he had been drawing May in the last story. So he's an artist and he loves to draw. So I put in his sketches. I'm using his sketchbook to kind of tell the story up to this point. But as you can see, there are a few new characters, some villain characters I'm going to be introducing, and there is a lot of work to do. So I will be talking more about this in next Monday's video. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that video. If you have any questions about the story or the comic, let me know in the comment section below. And who knows, I might answer that question in next week's video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And and until next time, keep drawing those mermaids and we'll see you later. God bless you guys. Bye.